Hey there, y'all. So, in the spirit of doing better with my videos um, and keeping my word to a girlfriend, I am doing more my day type of videos until I work my way into the equipment I need and getting my dressing room sorted out so that I can film properly. Um, so, update. I managed to get the grass cut. Okay, so it's not perfect and um, it's still a lot of patches that need to be addressed, but by and large, it's cut. So today was a day skipping off the grass because that's just going to make me sweat more. And as you see, I'm outside and it's already extra hot. So um, today was a day filled with taking mommy to an outpatient surgical procedure and um, getting her to and from and making sure she got her prescriptions and prescription costs in America fucking suck. Anybody that thinks coming to America is the move for you if you're not already organically wealthy, you might want to reconsider. Political climate, socioeconomic background, and 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 what your what your what your real mission is for for moving here cuz if you look like me and your hue is darker than this the struggle is real it's real we make it look easy but a lot of people don't know that we work day and night i once upon a time worked three jobs just to get some of the minute projects going that I've got going. I'm still working like a Hebrew slave with no holidays off, trying to get my cosmetics line off the ground. It's gonna happen and it can happen, but I can't say honestly that America is the only place that it could happen. We're living in a global society and a global economy with micro, employment revenues and options. I had to get those words together, so I didn't space out. I just had to make sure I got it right. But, um, you know, we're living in an economy and in a world where we can make anything happen where we stay. Assemble hush. Yeah, occasionally you'll hear me talking to my big dog because the way his patience is set up, he don't have none. But we live in an economy and a, and a world where we can create our own wealth and our own prosperity. And you don't have to be secondary and stationary and fixed on one location. If you got a laptop and you got a dream and you got a drive, you can be on the beach of Fiji. You can be in the bush in Africa. You can be in the Himalayas. You can be anywhere you want to be as long as you got a network connection and make it happen. So, I would advise people, if you look like me, and your hues are darker than mine, and your family is made up kind of like mine's made up with the descendants of former slaves and the descendants of colonized people, I would advise that you take a look in your own backyard and value what you have and make it work from your home base, especially if you are organically grown, if you are native to a place, and the struggle is real everywhere, don't get it twisted, it's real everywhere. And I'm not saying this from a 50,000 foot perspective, I'm saying this from firsthand knowledge, the struggle is real in America, and the struggle is real in, in, in India, and it's, 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 it's real in, in, in Africa, and it's real in South America, it's real everywhere, especially for people that look like us. So we need to stand on the ground that we are entitled to, that we are descended from, that we are indigenous to. We need to stand where we are and create the shit that we want to create. We need to create the world that we deserve to live in. I have a hard time with being politically correct and honest and tactful. The way those three work out for me is... I'm going to go with honesty right now. And honestly speaking, 
you need to value what you got. You got to value where you are. And you got to embrace the people whose histories are steeped in yours. You got to embrace the people who were stolen from you. And yes, I'm speaking from a personal descendant of former slaves perspective. Don't let the hue uh, 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 mess you up. You know, you got to value your brothers and your sisters and your extended family members. And you got to make it work where you are. I feel very passionately about this. And some people kind of look at me with the side eye when I start getting on my repatriation, back to Africa, pan-African, you know, African-American thing. But it's my thing. It's what I know. All I know is being a woman, a black woman, born into a country whose system was never designed for my success. And yeah, saying I should practice what I preach and trying to make it go here. Yeah, I've been doing that for over a few decades. <laughs> and I've hit that proverbial ceiling. And then I woke up. And once I woke up, I couldn't go back to sleep and say that where I am is where I need to be. Where I am is where I deserve to be. Where I am is where I am supposed to be. So I'm reverse engineering the bullshit. And I'm doing as much good as where I can right now. And then I'm going to take it back to where it belongs. So many people have done that for generations. And I, 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 I scoffed at it because I didn't understand it. But they did it for different reasons. I'm doing it pretty much for similar reasons. But my reasons are different. And all I'm trying to get across to you guys, and it sounds like rambling, but all I'm trying to get across to you guys is, we have an obligation to community and to family and to culture, known and unknown, to take a stand and, 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 and protect and honor and build and define and, and, and reinvent who we are as a people, who we are as a culture, who we are as a community, a global black community. And we don't always have to leave home to do it. God bless America. And I mean that for real. And that's coming from an atheist, God bless America. Because that's about the only somebody that's going to bless the fuck out of America. And all I'm saying to you guys is, for my brothers and sisters on the continent whose goal and dream it is to come to the States because y'all bought into the media hype and you bought into the commercialization, you bought into the lie. You bought into the lie that this is the land of opportunities. If you are a brother or a sister on the continent and your skin looks like mine or it's darker, that dream wasn't sold to you. That dream wasn't meant for you. <laughs> we lucky, some of us that get here, get it and get gone and make it happen. That's thumbs up. What was meant for us is under our feet and it's called Africa. What's meant for us looks like us. You ever wonder why they spend so much time trying to disenfranchise us? Why they spend so much time coming in, stealing and funding our, our skirmishes and, 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 and entrenching the divide between our cultures and our, our, our tribes? They never want us to get back to where we were. They never do. They never do. But we got to. And we are capable of it. And we're going to. But we aren't going to do it, hopping on a flight, thinking they're coming to America, paying all that money for a visa and a passport to get here and break your visa and stay illegally where our system is sending everybody back in droves with nothing to show for it. We're not going to get it by doing that. We're not going to get it by doing that. This wasn't even how this video was supposed to go. This video was actually supposed to be about me and the progress and the superficiality of getting my dressing room sorted out so that I could do my videos and so that I could, you know, do my videos. And I was going to actually show you all my next project, which is sorting through all this hair and, 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 and the stuff that makes my heart sing and the, the, the instruments of how I'm going to build legacy 
for my children. And there's nothing wrong with fake hair. There's nothing wrong with nails. There's nothing wrong with, with, with beauty and cosmetics. You just got to stay focused. And you got to stay intact with your principles. And you got to know why you're doing it. And you got to use those instruments to better not only yourself and your family, but your community and your culture and your, and, 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 and your country. And so this video was actually supposed to be about that. But I got off on a soapbox and a tirade about some shit that just... Gets to me. Gets to me. So, I say all that to say, I will be back at a later time to do a video about the things that make my girly heart happy. My hair, my makeup. And to complain about not quite yet having enough together to get the video equipment I need. <laughs> And just to touch bases with y'all. Y'all like this hair? I mean, tomorrow it's going to be different, but maybe I'll wear it again. I don't know. But this is my wild free. It's Thursday, and um, it's hot than a motherfucker here in Georgia. And it's 90 degrees and 90% humidity again. This is that hair. This is that I don't give up huh? hair. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to end this, but just keep that in mind. You know, we've got to do for ourselves, where we stand, where we belong, shit we own, shit that looks like us, shit that, 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 that secures, fortifies, nurtures, depicts us. And if you're on the continent and you're a friend of mine or an associate or a future friend of mine, you're seeing this video, understand that hopping a plane, getting a visa, paying all that money to get here, the streets are not paved with gold. I have had so many friends that are disenchanted from various countries and they look like me and they're darker than me and they're hues are of hues of my family and they get here and they're disenchanted because the story that they've been, they've been fed, the narrative that they've been listening to don't resemble shit that they were told. And nothing resembles that. Ain't no streets of gold, ain't no easy, ain't no easy. If anything, you work harder here. Because there are no familiar supports entrenched here to help out. If anything, you work harder here because there's no value add for your sweat effort. We are commodities. And I'm going to tell you something. We are in, we're, va we're not even value commodities. Because as the descendant of former slaves, once we stop fucking working for free, what little use we were to them became non-existent and then the game really changed and so anybody that's coming here voluntarily of an african descent i commend you but i just it wouldn't be my choice find something where else to go because they hate us all over the world because of the american narrative about us and there's nothing in our backstory about us and our history that says we should be hated as vilely as we are they came and stole our shit. They came and conquered our shit. They raped our women. They killed our kings. They destroyed our leaders. They 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 they, they exported us to build their world, and 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 they hate us. And what they leave us in the way? They Bible. Y'all buy? I can't even. They left us. They Jesus. As compensation for our resources and our talent and our skill set and our wisdom. They left us their Bible. And then the whole continent is riddled with Jesus fanatics. Like, for real, though, if you put yourself in a realistic space, separate your fact from your emotion. The fact is, the colonized people and the slave people, markedly different experiences, but the same. And we were taught to worship their God. We worship the gods of the African Pantheon before, Pantheon before they, they, they came and invaded us. So... They gave us their Bible. Think about it. If there was a mythical God out there. Um, when you kneel on your knees to pray, when our ancestors kneeled on their knees to pray, and they were praying for freedom from, 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 from enslavement and from oppression, they were, they, were, they were praying to the white man's God for burden lifting. And they went down on their knees praying for liberation. And the white man went down on his knees 
praying to keep us subject to and amiable to his enslavement and his colonization. Well, if you do the math, who the fuck do you think their God answered prayers for? And don't give me these cherry picked answers. Oh, we made it through and oh, we survived. Survival is the very minimum. We wouldn't have had to survive if they hadn't come in and invaded us. Survival is the very minimum. Their God answered their prayers because that was their God. Their God was created in their image. Our gods are created in ours. All I'm saying is that you're not going to find the God you seek until you look in the mirror and value what's under your feet. And stay put. It's the key. Stay put. And take ownership of and protection in and, 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 and nurture what we got. And open your arms and your hearts to us, the descendants of former slaves who, who were kidnapped and don't know anything other than there's something inside of us compelling us to get home because we know instinctively home is where safety and protection and nurturing are. We don't know the language. We don't know the food culture. We don't know the traditions. But open your heart to the fact that we were kidnapped and we're coming home now. And as parents and family members, there should be days of rejoicing and understanding and accepting and indulging and learning from each other. Because we have a wealth to offer in learning. We have a wealth to offer and you have a wealth to offer us. And all I'm saying is we have to unify and we have to appreciate what we have, where we stand right now. Okay. <laughs> I'm finna go. I'm finna go. Because this is so not where I was trying to go with this video. And every time I try to stop, I can't stop. It's just it's spilling out of me. Anyway, um... I'll be back, talk about my hair and my dream and my goal and my visions. And y'all are going to help me get there. Y'all are going to help me get there. And yes, I keep playing with this hair because it's a mess. I don't care, though. Um, y'all are going to help me get there because I have faith in you. I have faith in the fact that you are going to nurture and support this black woman's dream and goal so that I can nurture and support my family and provide three beautiful black kings that I've given life to provide them the footholds they need to reign and have dominion over and, and provide content for our community. I have faith in you all helping me make that happen. And in return, my support is ever is, is, is never ending. So I'm going to go take a breather, probably get a glass of wine. It's about that time. And wait for my Airbnb check-in to come in because, you know, the hustle is real. Again, I told y'all. I'm not above working three and four jobs. That don't have to mean getting a paycheck from some entity. It means creating it as I go with whatever means are available so that I can get to the end game. And the end game is unification and community and being back in a space where culture and family and love are. Anyway, I'm in this. Be good to yourself. Stay cool. I've been staying cool. I got my Ghana going today. Um, stay cool, and I'll be back. Love you. Love me.